Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, if it is morning for you, or afternoon, or evening, whatever it is, wherever you are. TJ here, developer for the game, and this is The Great Circle. And we're bringing you another live development video where you get to see what goes on behind the scenes of an independent game that we are making. And for those who are not familiar with The Great Circle and want to know what exactly it is, well, it is a upcoming animal survival game, um, kind of in the same vein as games like The Isle or Beast of Bermuda or Path of Titans, except this is not about dinosaurs. This game is about modern day animals. And the setting for this game is a giant African caldera. And in case you guys forgot your geology, <laughs> a caldera is just basically the leftover crater of a uh, exploded volcano. Super volcano in this uh, sense. Anyways, let's get into it. Uh, I'll be answering any questions you guys have during the stream. Feel free to put them in the chat um, or just comment them if you uh, want to check back later because this is not just a stream. The video of this will be up later so if you miss it you can come back and watch it from the beginning or fast forward to the parts that you like. Alright, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I do have the editor opening open, uh, but first of all, if you want more information about The Great Circle, um, there is info in the description of this video. Also, you can just go to our website, and it is thegreatcircle.weebly.com, weebly, W-E-E, -E, that's two E's, B-L-Y.com, or you can just Google The Great Circle Game or on YouTube The Great Circle Game and it should lead you to one thing which leads you to everything else. This is a website for the game and uh, you know here's the links to all the socials. There's YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, we just got some basic info about the game on the front page. Some pictures from in-game right there of the secretary bird hunting a rabbit. Um, some uh, info about the development team which is me. <laughs> and uh, somebody who is doing a little bit of rigging for a, a wild dog model right now. Uh, and anyways, the website has links to various things like the blog that we have, the list of animals, uh, a playable category, as well as the AI and NPC list is here. More up to date will be on the roadmap. We basically, whenever we add something to the upcoming or plan animals list, you know, you get a notification or whatever. So feel free to hit the roadmap and, you know, get a look at upcoming features, upcoming, upcoming animals, you know, what's going to be in the next build that we're building, what's in the current build. All that stuff is answered on the roadmap there. And then if you want to actually play the game as we're developing it, we do have playable test builds that you can get through our Discord, which right now is set to the link expires after the first 100 members. That's just to make sure that uh, everything that we're doing testing wise is working out so we don't have too many questions that we have to answer in the Discord. But if you're in the Discord, if you already have an account, uh, you can just put it in there. If you don't, just, uh, you know, like, let me just go ahead and put mine in there. If you already have an account, just put it in. If you don't, create an account and you can get in there. Uh-oh. Hang on. Make sure I'm doing this right. Oh, that's right. I already have an account. Yep. I had to hit that link. How are you doing, William? Here it is. So the Discord actually links you to where we have the game hosted. And uh, let's say you get right into the Discord here. Oh, we got some combo. Oh, let me check the poll. All right, this was for which predator should be added to the game next. In the lead is, well, we got hy four for the hyena, six for the leopard, one for the honey badger. Oh, honey badger only has one, one for the jackal. Four for cheetah, one for, oh wait, I skipped one. F is, F is wild dog, one for the wild dog. Three for the black mamba. Three for the Nile crocodile. Okay. Leopard's in the lead. 
good that way we get an idea of you know what people are most excited about so let's see so this is the this is the channel right here demo releases okay um and here's a link to the game you just open this up it's a google drive account that we have set up and we there's only one folder that you have to download it's the game it's test build 1.5 is what we have right now whenever we whenever we have new builds then you will see the uh the thing switch so right now it's on 1.5 but when we come out 1.6 we will take the 1.5 out of the folder and then put the other one in so you don't even have to do anything but download uh, what we put in there so it's the same link every time and um, yeah all right so let's get to the development all right so what we're doing today is we are working on a new animal and we're just taking the same steps that we take with every animal basically there's kind of an established workflow for whenever a new animal comes in it's got to have the animations hooked up it's got to have the sounds and stuff hooked up and stuff so what we're doing right now is we're working on the sounds for our wildebeest and our actual wild boar give me a second to get the window over there we go So I got my footsteps here, and where's my wildebeest? Spawner, here it is, no, that's the model. Okay, here it is. All right. So here's a look at the wildebeest model here. This particular species is called the blue wildebeest. So in a second, what I'm gonna do is go through the walk animation and just line up the footstep sounds with the, uh, with the actual walking. So let's go ahead and get a perspective from the side or front. Let's get him walking. All right, so that's the walk. Thank you, William. It's coming along. We're gonna do like a side-by-side -side presentation one day where it shows like where the project started to, to the midpoint to where it is now. All right, so what I wanna do, find the place where the foot touches down, right here. And we're gonna add a sound. Here, so I can just keep going back to it. Up, oh, lagging. Let me give it a second. find the second footstep. It's one. Back left leg touches right here. We create a second track. Now we need three. One, two, three. Stereo. All right, let's give it a listen. I want to put on my headphones. I can't actually hear it. Oh, snap, I can't actually hear it.
There we go. Alright, so these are actually some generic sounding footsteps. They're not specific to an actual animal just yet. They're more than anything like weighty. So the heavier animals have a weightier sound, the lighter animals have a lighter sound. But um, later on, I will have the time to make them specific to whether hooves are touching the ground or paws are touching the ground or talons are touching the ground or if it's slithering like a snake. Like I'll be able to specify those just in time. Right now, I just don't really have the time. So I'm just kind of putting a generic footstep in. The other thing is um, what it's stepping on is what I want to have the time to go back and do. So whether it's sand, soil, earth with roots on top or earth with nothing on top or if it's mud or if it's rock, you get the idea. That way we can have it sounding more specific. Okay, so I'm not gonna do every locomotion, only the locomotions that are actually in the game. So we have to walk. Next, we're gonna do trot. I like that song. I wish I had a way to play it twice. Maybe I do. Let me check. No, I missed it. Oh well. And there's number four. Let's make sure it's lining up. One, two. It's a little tricky with knowing whether or not the foot is touching the ground. I think these are the actual ground touches right here. But it's hard to know if the, if the animation is just moving up or if it's actually touching. Uh, William says, is anyone else helping you work on the game or just you because it must be hard doing everything? Um, no, mostly it's me doing all this stuff. There is one person volunteering to do rigging and animations for one of the models. But other than that, it's completely me which means that I don't have the ability to um, specialize or focus on any particular area where I might be able to do make it sound or look better. Like, if I could focus just on adding sounds to the animals, they would sound better and there would be more, it'd be more, sounding more specific and it would be more detailed. But right now, since I'm the only uh, all around programmer, I've got to kind of generalize and you know spend some time in each area so that the game can actually make progress, which is fine. Um, once we get some more help, then um, I can actually spend more time making things more detailed. But you know, just having the base stuff in place and, and just having that responsibility has um, been going pretty smoothly so far. I've come up with a, a nice little system to get things done. But just imagine, if we can do all this with one person, think about when we actually get a team of developers together. We'll have a lot more stuff to offer. All right, so I think this is OK. We'll just have to get into the environment and see if it's lining up. But I think this is fine. All right, the last one is the run. So it's basically the same thing, but just faster.
and actually what also is a big help is just having people in the discord to point out bugs that I may or may not already be aware of um, like some things I, I wasn't aware of that people pointed out versus other things I knew about but was wondering is it really a big deal do I need to spend time focusing on it right now and I got some some uh, insight as far as that so like there's a where is it bug reports right here so people have been pointing out things to me like um, hey did you know that the animal can go into sitting animation while it's flying uh, or like did you know that some of the other animals are getting stuck in animations and stuff so that's actually that's actually helping with development even though people are not like in an editor messing around with stuff like I am that helps so it's kind of like uh, the community is helping with the testing phase of it and that's part of the reason that we wanted to set up the discord is so we can start to get some help with developing the game So far, it's going good. Not bad. One, two, three, four. Four might be a little bit late. Again, hard to tell when there's not visible ground beneath if the animation is moving up or if it's actually touching. But all right, so let's see if we can hear it. Let's grab our wildebeest. As long as we hear running and, and walking, we're good. Oh, crap. Let's do it again. Let's switch. God dang it, dude. Everything just crashed. Yep. What an annoyance. Nice job on everything. In the future, when iOS is released, I will definitely get the game. Awesome. I'm trying to spend a little more time on the mobile side of things. I'm hoping to have a, bu a build out, you know, relatively soon. I don't know exactly how soon, but I get the feeling it's going to happen as faster than I even thought it could. Because I'm starting to see a lot of things that I was doing for the uh, desktop build are actually already built in for mobile, too. I don't know if the stream is still running. <laughs> the thing went down. I feel like it is running, but I'm gonna have to, I might have to end the stream to bring it back up. Give me a second to check.
crap, this, it's still going. Okay, it's still going. So I will just leave that as is and open the editor back up. I'll try to keep an eye on the thing. Necessary. It's super necessary. <laughs> One thing about this program, as powerful as it is, it is, I mean, this thing has crashed so many times. If it weren't for the fact that I save often, Oh, speaking of which, I don't know if I saved the uh, foot to depths, but if it weren't for the fact that I saved often, I would have gotten way, way, way more frustrated with the fact that it crashes almost pretty regularly when you start doing some heavy work. That's going. So the Wildebeest was one of the surprises that I was talking about. I still have another surprise. Um, because the Wildebeest wasn't in the in test in any of the test builds until now. And um, there's other animals that that uh, people should expect to come pretty soon. Because whenever I add an animal to the ecosystem, what I want is for there to be some kind of balance. So therefore, if there are bunny rabbits, there are things to hunt the bunny rabbits. Now, if there is a wildebeest, there's also going to be something to hunt the wildebeest. So that will be the other surprise. You can expect a new predator. Okay, yeah, we did fix that. These are some pics. Oh, maybe I should post a picture. Oh, here we go. Back up. Should I skip it? No, I should restore. <clears throat> <laughs> Obnoxious Wolfie sent me a message. He said, fight me. <laughs> sure, man. Sure. Someday. I'm pretty sure I've fought everyone at this point. If th At this point, if I haven't fought you already, then there's like, you must be newer. In the past couple months, I haven't been on as much as I have been on in the past because I've been working more heavily on this game. But, hey, I'll fight everyone. I'll fight you, Wolfie. <laughs> Happy New Year's. Uh, I did catch the stream the other day. He was doing the um, Ali Aramis stream for Path of Titans. That was pretty cool. I actually got to play with the Ali Aramis and 
I like it. I like it a lot. I feel like it's a lot like um, Metri when it first came out. We were talking about, oh, I like the turn. It's smooth and it does this and I like the sounds. I'm saying all the same things about Ale Ramos. Wait for the nerf. <laughs> Actually, I don't think that Ale Ramos is going to get nerfed because it's like nobody's clamoring to nerf the Ale Ramos. It isn't overwhelming in any one of its uh, stats particularly. Like it's not the fastest. I don't think so. People, some people are saying it's faster than Campo. I don't think so. Maybe just maybe I'm not sure about that, but I don't. It didn't feel like it was faster to me. It didn't seem particularly great. It didn't seem great in anything. It just seemed different, and just a little bit how it turns. I just like the smoothness of its turning, the polish, the uh, animations do seem a bit more polished than uh, like Serato, for example. Like it just seems to move well for its its weight and its size. It just kind of matches up better than um, Serato and the other ones, in my opinion. But uh, it's, I don't know, it fits. It doesn't do anything special, really. Like it's not like, there's nothing particularly that it's best at. Like if it was the fastest, that would be one thing. If it did the most bite damage, it would be another thing. It doesn't actually do anything really much, much better than the others. It's just a kind of a unique combination of its features, which is fine. I'm glad that that's the case and that like every every time they brought out a dino in the past, it's kind of like been like these situations where they give it stupid stats like I don't know how long Spino's just been stat crushing everything and then um, they bring out Sarko, same thing. When they brought out Serato, its healing factor was stupid. It just doesn't even make sense. Like, it's like, why did they make it that strong? Like, it doesn't, it's just, nothing can compete with it. It's like, they don't want anything to be competitive. So it's like, hmm. I like that they brought this one out, and it's like not overwhelming in anything. But that's also kind of part of the problem with this, if I have to criticize it in any way. It's just that it doesn't really add much else other than just basically it's a different dino model like there's really nothing unique about it because it bites and it tail swipes and that's it which is fine i'd rather have that than nothing i'd rather have ali Aramis with no special or unique abilities than no ali Aramis, you know because i believe in choice i'm a choice guy um all right let's get back to work here the other editors are opening back up. All right, now we're going to stop these animations because they're taking up RAM. Okay, I think we saved our work. For the wildebeest, okay. So run, yeah, we were on the run, and the run is done. Let me just make sure stereo is set. Nope, it's not. Let's make sure that's set. All right, let's play our run. Good, let's see the trot. Oh, well, that's the jump while trying. It's kind of cool. I get the feeling this one's going to be fun to control. I haven't tried it out, control yet. This is, this is the AI one, so it's not the playable one yet. But we'll get there. Here's the trot. Uh-oh, the trot didn't save. Hmm, trot did not save. All right, well, let's save the run, and then let's get back to the trot. thing though is I can't turn the music back on because the thing is like frozen now which is annoying all right let me let me try I'm gonna try something I don't know if it's gonna kill the stream or not but I'm gonna try it if 
If it kills the stream, I'll be back in like five minutes. <laughs>